first pair of rings. They look so great. They look about 10 years old. Well, that's because they are. I invested in rings about 10 years ago, and this was the best investment in health and fitness I've ever made. If you're watching this video, you're interested in rings training. So what is the first thing we need to do? Well, it's obvious. We need to grab a pair of rings. Fortunately, rings are not a hard sell. They're inexpensive and extremely durable. Looking online, all these rings seem fine. Now that you've got your rings, we need to find somewhere to hang them. And I'm gonna assume that you're either renting or can't modify your home, and you don't have access to a gymnastics center or a gym facility where you can hang them. So we need to actually go out and explore what options we have. It's actually raining. There's three places or things I would look for when you're thinking about hanging rings. I would look for trees, I would look for man-made structures, and I would look for like calisthenics parks. You're not going to have much luck looking down a street like this with just trees, houses, and cars. Most of those trees aren't going to be appropriate. Your best bet is going to be finding a green space. This is one of my local green spaces. You can see there's a lot of trees. The first thing we're going to check out is this calisthenics park over here. So we're at a calisthenics park, and as you can see, it's pretty good. We've got P-bars, we've got bars. The cons of the fitness park is if it's busy, you're gonna have to be sharing equipment. The main one to me is the limitation of the height of the bar. So you're gonna have to be compromising in terms of the height below or the height above. Let's say if we're doing something like a full range of motion muscle up. is this? It makes me mad that anyone would even install this at a fitness park as opposed to putting up a structure for the rings. What, 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 is, what is happening? So we've established that the calisthenics park is good, but it's not perfect. So let's shut the f up with that f notification. So let's keep having a look around to see what other options we have for hanging these rings. When it comes to these structures that aren't meant to hang rings from but just so happen to be extremely convenient to do, doesn't get much better than this staircase here. We've got two options. We can hang them right up the top over the edge to get maximum clearance or you've got the rungs of the stairs to hang depending on what height you want, what kind of clearance you want. The issue here with man-made structures is they can be a little bit of an awkward setup. We've got a door right in the way of where we would hang the rings at their highest point. The stairs lead to a classroom, to a martial arts dojo, and there's people going in and out of the dojo. To hang straps over the stairs could become a trip hazard. You have to teach kids how to defend themselves? Is that really necessary when the Maltese is at stake? In contrast to those stairs, I'm really liking this setup here. So let's set the rings up and see how this turns out. So this setup is pretty great. I've got clearance if I want it. I've got a full range of motion. The structure above does bow a little bit under my weight, but it's nothing of concern. Just maybe it would restrict certain swinging elements on the rings. The main thing that detracts from this setup is the ground. It's uneven because of the stairs. I mean, beggars can't be choosers here, but if we're critiquing this action, spot you would want a smoother landing for the bird just shit on me as well but it was the rain so the last place we're going to look is at trees now you want to find a tree with a strong branch that comes out horizontal and I found the perfect one here perfect is a bit of a stretch there's obviously some uh, caveats to this being perfect the good things about this tree is it's pretty consistent with the horizontal branch and sturdy the bad thing is the ground is a little bit slippery, not much leeway in terms of dips and muscle ups. Looking back on the four structures that we visited, I'd say that little grandstand was my favourite one, but we're ending on the tree, so we're going to set up some exercises. So we've got rings, we've got somewhere to set up our rings, but what do we want to train? How do we structure these sessions? Well, I'm going to go through a few exercises, but I also need to point you in the direction of my rebuild program. There's two programs within the one purchase. There is a beginner's program for people that are completely new to calisthenics training, and there's a program for those that have had a break from calisthenics and are looking to get back into it. We want to start with a push skill, which will be a push-up, a pull skill, which will be our row, and a straight arm skill, which will be our support position. For the push-up and the row, start with the shoulders much higher than the feet and progress by lowering the ring so that your shoulders are getting closer and closer to be level with the feet. Now when we're starting to make some decent gains with the push-up and the row, 
we want to start to add a vertical pull and a vertical push in the form of dips and pull-ups. For these skills, we're looking to use our feet for assistance to begin with through the whole range of, of motion. And then we're looking to control the negative with body weight and using our feet for assistance. And then we're looking to go full body weight. We also want to incorporate some kind of skill training and that will be in the form of muscle ups and skin mechanics. I have tutorials on both of these skills which I'll link in the description. So go and check them out, have a look at what the regressions are and how we can get to performing these with full body weight.